They like, hey, what was all that you was talking the other day? He like, nah, man, I ain't even on that, man. I ain't even on that, man. I don't know what happened in the meantime, between time. All I know was two big ass varsity players, man. Yo, what's going on, G.Dot family? You already know it's your boy G.Dot back at one another. But, 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 banging ass video. You already know this video is very much sponsored by Marijuana. <laughs> Go fast. Before we get into it, you already know what we gotta do because it's a long ass story time. I gotta explain the beginning to the end so you know what's going on. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at guapboyg. and Twitter at guapboyg. All the links for all my social media are gonna be in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now y'all already know this is my sophomore year of high school. Now sophomore year of high school, it wasn't too much crazy stuff going on. When I really started getting associated with the school, and I started selling in because my freshman year I was a little badass. I was getting detention damn near every day. I was notorious for being in attention and not caring about nothing and then sophomore year I started to cool off and learn my place and learn what I had to do So I can stay out the way but I still get in trouble and have fun sometimes So I'm not a super good kid like I want to have fun And I know the only way to have fun sometimes you gotta do something bad Nothing too crazy but you know you might have to fight in the back of the classroom Might have to beat somebody with a belt and have a belt fight in the back of the classroom Might have to like get into it with somebody and curse them out You already know what's going on Ain't no means all hard feelings involved It's just what happened Now to understand this story fully we gotta take it all the way back to freshman year So you can understand why he was the way he was and why no no one respected who he was. Now, when I'm talking about him, I'm talking about the manager, the football manager. That's who he was at first, though. He was a football manager for the freshman team, right? So when we came in as freshmen, all of us are really trying to play. Like, we ain't trying to be no manager. We're trying to get in the field and get our hands dirty. You see what I'm saying? So when he came in freshman year, he wanted to be a manager. So everybody looking at him like, damn, why you want to be a manager? Like, you chose to be a manager? You could have just been a bench player or something, but you chose to be the manager. That's lame as hell, bro. Come on, like, no one really respected him for it. The seniors didn't respect him for it. The freshmen didn't respect him for it. The sophomores didn't respect him for it. Hell, even the juniors ain't respecting for it. No one respecting him for it. On top of that, you a freshman coming into a new school, so you already know the freshman getting hazed. The hell we coming on spirit week and we playing football, so you know it was rough for him. It was already going down because nobody liked him for real. Now me, this guy, I didn't get hazed by no senior. I came in cool with all the seniors and I had that attitude of don't F with me, don't mess with me. So all the seniors was cool with me and I was a cool guy. I'ma kick it with you. Like I ain't finna get on that with you. I ain't finna act tough. I'ma be me. I'ma kick it with you. I'ma see what you on. We're gonna get cool. We're not gonna be cool. It's simple as that. But you ain't finna hold me and you ain't finna try me like that's what's not finna happen. Point blank. So a manager get on the football team, he started managing stuff, but he not really managing stuff because every time I look over from the football field, all I see him doing is playing in the sand and playing in the dirt in the baseball field. You're not even over here trying to be a manager, you ain't doing your job, you ain't bringing the balls, how you supposed to bring the balls. Balls. During the game, you ain't even bringing the balls when we need the balls. Like, you really messing up. You losing stuff. You don't know where the snapping tee is. Like, gone, man. Like, why is we even here? You might as well get on the team. And that's what the coaches told his ass. They was like, hey, son, you're fired. But you might as well play football since you've been around it. I know you want to play football. You might as well join the team. So guess what he did? He joined the team. Now, when he joined the team, he was not good. He was not raw. He was one of them people that got the new pair of cleats just not to play in the game. Like, you see what I'm saying? Everybody talking about him because he got a new pair of cleats every year, but you don't get in the game. The people are like, give me your cleats, gang. Let me see them cleats, man. Let me see them gloves, man. You don't have to wear them no way. You don't even play no way. Now, I know he didn't like that because I wouldn't like that if I was playing football and I didn't know I didn't play and people asked for my gear because of that. I don't know why he never snapped off on nobody, though. Mr. Manager was a real cool ass person. Now, flash forward from freshman year to sophomore year, no one still respects him. No one still likes him. No one cares about him. Like, he's just an average on the team but like every other average on the team he's gonna get tried by the seniors because no one likes him and no one knows him so you already know sophomore year is when i made the transition from freshman locker room to varsity locker room the sophomore and varsity shared a locker room so when you walk in the locker room you automatically walk through the door bust open the door and the first section is varsity section you do not go in varsity section unless you plan on varsity or you're super cool with it now it was a couple people that were super cool with varsity like they can go in there and do whatever they wanted because they didn't ran a locker room i though was not one of those people i could kick it with them but i'm not gonna be on their side is kicking a lot of guys it because I already know what could happen because I've seen it happen to other people. People that's not supposed to be over there got beat before, got their ass kicked out of something. People that wasn't supposed to be in the locker room at all, that wasn't part of the football team, they trapping you in there and they beating you. They beating you. They're doing the same thing on the track team, doing the same thing on the basketball team. They lock you in there and they beat you and it's not fun. Like they really finna try to beat your ass. Like it's not a game right now. It's like a game back in damn near. But once you walk past the varsity section, you get to the sophomore section. The sophomore section is a little last section. It's just all the sophomore lock. And that's where all the sophomores are supposed to go. All the varsity on one side, all the sophomores on one side. Now, I don't know why, but Mr. Manager had a reputation to come in, in the varsity locker room and just being on the varsity side for no reason. Knowing goddamn well, he had no business on the varsity side of the locker room. So he on the varsity side of the locker room day after day, he kicking it, trying to see what's going on with the varsity players. He's trying to get some tips because I guess he really want to play. But varsity really ain't messing with him because he ain't got no talent. 
And plus, on top of all that, he is a lame. Everybody PP lame as hell. But nobody really messed with him for real because everybody on varsity cool and usually the quarterback watching over the locker room. So usually everything is okay and nothing's an issue. It was one day we was all walking out the varsity locker room and then Mr. Manager decided to say something smart to the quarterback. I forgot what he said, but he said something smart. I don't even think it was to the quarterback in general. It was just to the whole varsity team. He said something so smart and so stupid. I can't even tell you what it was, but he shouldn't have talked back to them people. Not saying you're supposed to be a lame or a and not speak back when someone talk to you. But I'm just saying, if you know you're not like that, these people already don't like you. They already kind of looking for an excuse to get on that with you. Hey man, why are you talking back to them? Why are you doing that? Especially when it's already known for a fact that the varsity players be beating some of the sophomore players' ass and some of the freshman players' ass with belts. Like, it's a known fact. If you get brought up to varsity, you're probably gonna get your ass beat. Like, it's just how it go. Or you around the varsity players and you ain't on top of your game, you're probably gonna get your ass beat. That's just how it goes. So I don't know why you talking crazy to him. Now, the day after you talk crazy to him, we all walk in the locker room, right? So during the football season, I got a gym for my last period. So I'm usually the first person in the locker room and like the first person that's walking out going to the football field. So usually I come in there, put my pads on, everything cool. I talk to people, lollygag, kick it for a second. I leave. Now, this time when I come in there, I come in there before everybody per usual, go in the locker room. It's me and my four other people and Mr. Manager with me because he had gym with me too. So we all go in the locker room. We all kicking it, you know, putting on our pads, everything cool. Varsity come in there. They all loud as hell. You already know it. Right after school, they all talking, kicking shit, trying to see what's going on, trying to see what the hoes on. Now, a couple varsity players keep walking past the sophomore section though. They keep walking back and forth past the sophomore section. So I'm like, damn, why they, they looking at us? They scouting us out. What's going on? Like, why they keep walking past our section? So eventually they walk past our section. They look at manager. So they look at manager and is looking for a second and they walk past. So I'm like, yeah, it's time to get up out of here. I don't know what they finna do to buddy ass, but we ain't finna be part of this. Hey, my team, we gone. My squad, we out. Let's ride, y'all. So I'm telling them, let's ride. And then we put on our pads and we get up out of there. Now, as I'm walking up out of there, manager try to walk up out of there, but he still put on his pads, so he trying to hurry up real quick. Now, as soon as the varsity players see us leave, they instantly go back there and they get on that one manager. Instantly get on that one. They like, hey, what was all that you was talking the other day? He like, no, nah, man, I ain't even on that, man. I ain't even on that, man. I don't know what happened in the meantime, between time. I don't know it was two big ass varsity players, man. Them two big ass varsity players came, man. They must have manhandled to put him on the ground. And then I remember, man, this man was in his drawers, dog. The man was in his drawers. They held the man down while he was in his drawers. They held his wrists and they held his feet and they spread him out. And then they started beating him with a belt. I'm telling you, like, whipping style, like they. Huh! Huh. Like he stole some damn y'all beating his ass. Y'all don't even gotta do him like that. Hold on, twin. Hold on. But I can't save him because I don't use like I said, like I'm cool with him, but I ain't that cool when the run up on him be like, get off that with him. Like they might get on that with me. I leave it up to the varsity quarterback and the varsity coaches go in there and saw all that and handle that issue. So as soon as I walk out, the varsity coach walk in there and I seen the look on his face, he kinda knew it was some bullshit going on. He was like, bro, what the hell? And it was kinda weak that year, so he was mad as hell. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what went down when the coach walked in there. All I know was that after that I went to practice and then like 20 minutes later, 25, 30 minutes minutes later manager came to practice and he was limping a little bit like you see what i'm saying he already knew it was over with like he knew he was embarrassed his reputation was over with you just got beat in front of the whole football team gang it's ova is no coming back for you and after that no one respected him still man no one ever respected him but if you want a part two about mr manager because i used to get into him a lot bro like we did not like each other for some reason doing school i don't know why but if you want part two about another story about lame ass mr manager don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time i drop a new banging ass video and don't forget to follow me on instagram at guapoj and Twitter at YboyG. All the links for all my social media gonna be in the description below. Without further ado, we out.